I feel like I was born to create apps. Callaway has restructured its entire company to be the world's leading content creation studio for iPad. The apps we produce are these living, breathing entities that have a huge draw. People love them, and we love making them for people. If you look at NPR, I think we have like 300 radio stations we stream, thousands of podcasts, and we have the ability to stitch it all together yourself and play your own DJ. All of that happens on a little tiny screen and device that slips inside your pocket. Changing the world for musicians and for fans is what gets me out of bed every day. Traditional radio is broadcast. Everybody gets exactly the same thing. So the big differentiator from Pandora, from the vast majority of radio, is it's personalized. You get your music. You get discovery that's suited to your taste. Our hunch was that the iPad was going to be a great media consumption device. Disney ABC, we're a, we're a content company. It's, it's in our DNA, it's in our name. The idea of being able to open a new avenue for our users was incredibly compelling. Basically, we make games for the iPhone, and we just love it. <laughs> when we make a game, we try to make it close to reality, like the Labyrinth game. It really feels like you have a physical steel ball you're rolling around, or with a touch grind game, it really feels like you're, you're fingerboarding for real. When the iPad was announced, I was sitting there with an ebook in my heart wanting somebody to invent a device to put it on, and there it was. I have these hundreds of things in my office that are fascinating, and you don't. What can I do about that? The iPad is a device on which the practical implementation of magic books is entirely possible. We did an example of that with the elements, and now we should do more of them. For all of its charms, Pandora on the iPhone to this point can't run in the background. And so one of the big new features in iPhone OS 4 is multitasking, and Pandora will be able to run in the background. With Game Center, for example, we can connect players from all over the world to compete in our games by just a few lines of code, and that's going to be really cool. Apple lays the tools in front of us, but it's the developer's job to pick them up and do something with them. There's no way that we could have built anything remotely as beautiful without the sophistication of the Apple SDK. We've actually spent some time working with other platforms. It's a night and day difference. They're more difficult for the user. They don't have the power or the tools available. They don't have the distribution network. They don't have the standards, both in hardware or software. It is that handset fragmentation, if you will, that causes developers a lot of problems because you are now targeting individual devices. It's really evident in Apple's APIs and the developer tools that you're working with something really mature, not something that was invented two years ago. There is a certain elegance and sophistication to the way that Apple has architected their entire solution. It's an end-to-end -end solution, and that is absolutely lacking on other platforms. I mean, one of the nice things about the App Store is you submit it and forget it, because Apple takes care of all of the hassles of distributing software. For many people, games haven't really been accessible, but on the App Store, you can just go pick any game, and download and play. I think it's really changing the world. The store that we're represented on is immediately available to hundreds of millions of people all over the world. We'd been trying for about 18 months before the App Store launched to figure out Pandora and mobile. We tried it on all different kinds of phones, and we just had never really got the formula right. The morning we turned it on and we started watching the activations come in, we had more people listening on the iPhone by noon than we had accumulated in the, in the previous years. There are literally tens of thousands of moving parts that have been reduced to one lever in the Apple's SDK and the App Store and the platform. And because we don't have to worry about any of that, what we can do is focus on making great apps. Apple has given us the most amazing canvas to paint on. And now it's time to paint your masterpiece. <laughs>